check, check, check. All right, that's good. Let me minimize that. Minimize this. All right, so my sound on my mic is on. I need to go turn this on. We're gonna link that up later. This thing moves back and forth. Okay, and hello, we're on. Okay, so hey guys, as promised, this is the next installment of my path journey to OACP certification. Um, real quick, I called this 0 0.5, week 0 0.5, because I haven't even officially started yet. I, it's 12 o'clock today, Saturday, August 18. I get access. In about eight hours, um, so I'm gonna get I'll get the course materials, the lab access at eight o'clock tonight. I haven't officially started, um, but I did want to just put out a video. Uh, I decided to shoot this today, put it out so that tonight and tomorrow I can just focus, and for the rest of the week I can just focus on OSCP, and then you know uh, put out a video next weekend with a full week. So I decided to call it 0 0.5. Um, last week was zero, probably should have been negative one, so this could be zero and next week could be one, but it's never, you know, it's not here or somewhere else, so uh, this is week 0 0.5. Um, I could talk to you, I could share what I did this week to prepare for today, tonight, and tomorrow, and perhaps the next few months to a year. Um, I did try to gather up some resource materials uh try to meditate a little bit you know try to get my mind prepared um what i do want to do i do want to thank the subs my subscribers um i'm gonna be honest i didn't expect that many that that's that subscribed so i appreciate you guys and i appreciate the comments on the first video it's kind of like bittersweet because you know i i put these started i made a decision to put these videos out and document myself and also uh, share my my journey with the world but at the same time it's like people are actually watching now you guys are subscribing even if I don't get another subscriber from this day forth you guys that did subscribe already I felt like you guys are watching <laughs> so it's like a little pressure to actually continue uh, to report I guess my status and and actually you know, not that I wouldn't continue to OSCP but you know, uh, just continue to put out material so you guys can uh, be on track with me. Um, so I, I do appreciate that. It's kind of like a little motivation, if you will. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank you guys for the comments, for the subs for subscribing. Uh, please feel free to continue to subscribe, share, comment, ask questions. If I don't know the answer, I can try to you know send you a resource or point you in the right direction. Again. Um, I am not a uh, semi subject matter expert on OACP yet. Uh, maybe over the next few weeks to a couple months, I might have a lot better understanding of most of the basics and some of the advanced things. Um, I am on HexChat, excuse me, HexChat under uh, Freenode under the OACP uh, chat, which is. Uh, off sec. So if you've taken the OSCP, you signed up for the course or the labs, um, you know about that. You can go ahead and uh, find me there. I might be on late at night sometimes. Um, I just want to, again, I just want to thank you guys for that. You give me accountability and I'm going to continue to at least put you guys on notice or just share my, my process or my progress. Um, so so, okay, so what I've done for this past week in preparation, um, played around a little bit with Hack the Box. Um, you know, I read the, uh, I went to the Cali site and read the Calix, Calix, Calix. I read the Cali Linux Revealed book, which is 90% Linux, which I already kind of knew. Um, you know, uh, I did sign up for a conference. If you're in the DC metro area, I'm going to the B Sides conference. I think it's October 24, October 24, 25, 26, a weekend or something like that. 
Um, I hear the first round is sold out. Uh, so if you're in this area, you know about that, and you're there, you might you know, you'll definitely see me. I'll be I'll be present. Um, what else? I can talk to you. I guess I can share some of my resources that I find interesting and resourceful and useful. Um, okay, what I can do is uh, on my website, so I have a personal blog website uh, called moneyflocks.com. I can make a resources link and uh, make a page where I can just link uh, websites that I visit, blogs that I visit, um, resources, materials, books, just things that uh, I, I, I guess I can share and put out there for you guys. Also, if you have uh, additions or you want you know go ahead just comment uh what your resources are i'll take a look at them and, and put them on the resources page on my website a little bit of advice that i would give out is if you are truly into cyber or or it or hacking stay up to date with your industry uh, it's very important to continue learning uh never become stagnant or complicit and think that you know you're comfortable i mean you could be comfortable where you are that's fine but as, as we all should know in the it world in the cyber world things change constantly and you always want to stay up to date so i suggest you know subscribing to magazines digital magazines print magazines um me myself yeah i'm i'm a subscriber to linux user they're not paying me i'm paying them actually um, I subscribe to Wired Magazine, um, you know, I visit websites like HackerNews.com, Wired.com uh, has a good section on security, if you go, if you go to Wired.com slash security. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's very important to just stay, stay up to date in your field, you know, because, uh, you know, cyber is always changing. So uh, another piece of advice I can drop for test takers. So I'll put it this way. Of all the, the IT certifications I have, I never felt comfortable or felt confident that I'll pass any of them but the Linux. When I went into the Linux, I was pretty confident. I knew I was going to get that. I wasn't actually worried. Every other one, day of the test, day of the exam, didn't feel confident, didn't know if I was gonna pass or fail. Even after I didn't, you know, I got like two or three or four and I had a history of passing. Um, the last one before Linux was CEH and I was not confident at all in that, you know, but I got it. So um, what, I, what I do want to do or, or suggest if you're in IT, you're in cyber and um, you wanna pursue some certs, do not wait until you feel ready. Because you're not. You won't. You will never feel ready. My tactic or what I've done is made a decision. So I make a decision to pursue that cert, take that cert. And from that point, what I'll do is sign up, make an account, whatever you got to do for that organization, that, bot, that entity. And sign up for the cert, pay for it, schedule it a month, two months, three months, whatever. Sort of like what I, what I did for OSCP. So don't Basically, what I'm saying is do not wait to, don't study on your own and wait to schedule the exam because nine times out of ten, you're never going to feel confident and you're not going to do it. So my suggestion, if you're out there in the cyber world and you want to get into IT, go ahead, just sign up for a cert, pay for the cert. If you get, you know, if your job can pay for it, whatever, do whatever you got to do, pay for the cert, schedule it. That way you pretty much have to force yourself to sit down and study and you know commit uh, to that. Um, it's worked for me for all my certs, even for my degrees, you know, sign up. I mean, school, school. I mean, you don't wait to be ready for school, but same, same concept there. So uh, if you are in cyber and you've been thinking about taking OSCP and you know, you want to study a little bit, do hack the box, do whatever, um, that's great. You know, it's great to have some basic background knowledge, but again, at the end of the day, do not, not, I implore you, do not wait till you feel ready to, to, to purchase it and sign up. Because you'll look back in 10 years will pass and you still don't have it. So um, that's my little piece of advice, two pieces of advice I can give you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
cut this off. Gonna get ready for tonight. Uh, not nervous. I mean, I'm not saying like I'm taking a test. Just gonna get stuff and get the materials and look around, poke around, probably leap into labs, uh, see what's going on. And then next week, which would be August 25th, 26th, um, will be a full week of my access. Seven days out of the 60 that I have. And uh, check back with me next week and I'll let you know if my brain is fried enough. All right, thanks guys.